Harshan agus Falchard of Irash to speak Gaelic. Welcome back to Speak Gaelic. We're progressing through series two, and Miss Mamma Chaina has seen it a noon of program Chiag a rain. Miss Mamma Chaina. Now that means, if I recall correctly, Miss Mamma Chaina. We've reached the eleventh program in this series. And if you've been with us from the beginning, that's quite an achievement. Well done. The theme of this episode is Connelthruch, communication. Connelthruch. So we'll be learning lots of phrases that you'll hear Gaelic speakers using in everyday life. And in addition to what we cover here, remember that you can find lots of additional supporting content online and in our podcasts, which you can download from BBC Sounds. Now, let's see what's ahead of us. Useful phrases for keeping in touch with people. In Kuzmi Fornhugan. We open a new chapter in Callum McLean's adventures. Different ways in which you can thank someone. Ah, well, that's it. I shouldn't call her either. And I meet Ilse Alim to find out about her experience of learning Gaelic. There's a lot to come. Hathor vihien. A bit of jishal. Maha, noch toshishin. Let's speak Gaelic. We're going to learn some phrases that you can use to keep in touch with people. Starting with one means of communication most of us wouldn't be without. If someone says, Kudi mi phone hukit, it means, I'll phone you. Literally, I'll send or put a phone to you. Kudi mi phone hukit. Hukit means to you. Kudi mi phone hukit. If you wanted to say you were going to phone Kawam, you would say, Kudi mi phone gu Kawam. I'll phone Kawam. Kudi mi phone gu Kawam. To ask someone to phone you, it's and could you phone hookum? Will you phone me? And could you phone hookum? Hookum means to me. Hookum. Or if you're being more informal, you could just say could phone hookum. Phone me. Could phone hookum. And you just follow the same pattern if you're asking someone to text you, email, or send a letter. Kuth texahukam. Text me. Kuth texahukam. Email me. Kuth posti hukam. Kuth posti hukam. Or send me a letter. Kuth yichet hukam. Now, unlike English and many other languages, we don't have one word in Gaelic that means please. The sentiment is usually implicit in our tone, and using the question form would usually be polite enough if you said, And could you Will you send me a letter? And could you However, if you do want to say please, this is the phrase to use. Mishe the hale. It translates roughly as if it's your will, if you please. Mishe the hale. And if you're addressing an older person or someone in a more formal situation, it would be Mishe urthale. Mishe urthale. Now let's listen to a conversation where some of these phrases are used and see how many you recognise. Be a marrock a kudum kul, had on me ounce and pal of real achtahiris. Be in kyoma, kunak me in kolenshin and in the nature in the re, via scanyal. Be in the torsion of foskulug, ek ye ued in jay shark, agus be a kudum a toshukug, ek go kudin. Hitchingen Valla a Shachwiden Maha, Hitch Misha on Irivas. Kerst, give Mission Trene. A will Misha a dollar. Hanya Levarsten. Be Elsie and Shock called the root, Gus and Chick Misha Yachi. Still a Melsie. Catch and can you sheen. 
Kan je hier zijn ik en halen, ik je uur en zij schak. Bij een taartje trank. En kut mijn phone hukken. Dat kun je tekenen. Phone me hukken. En voet me je voor mij bij. Jamie in de ticketchen. Ga niet mee eet. Goed mijn phone, goed en halen, en je schaam niet mee daar hikken. En feit in de ticketchen aan zijn halen. Ga nee. Ga je takken. Goed en halen, hoek en postjel en kleine ticketchen. En kun je hoek op een postjel en zin? Kun je. Kun je mijn postjel en hoek het en draas te heen, maar steetje als mijn geen. En voet me je van naar de machine aan. Ga niet. Ga je walk? Ah, ik vond mij weg zo meer. En vind me je ver aan. Ik was dan, ga je de walk? Je hebt je vond mij weg, nu je heet je ganaardskool. Kun je niet meer naar les en kielkool voor die maas zijn? Ik vond mij weg, ik heb hulle doen je. Ah, guess ik heb zie. En de lenu en kouderig. Did you follow the conversation? And the lenu and koruch. Madi asked Alice, and could me phone hook up? Will I phone you? And could me phone hook up? We also heard the Gaelic for a mobile. Phone wive. A mobile phone. Phone wive. It was clear that Alice prefers texting. Now could you text her? Can't you text me? Nach kudu texe. But Mathi didn't seem as keen and said, phone me hook up. That's another way to say, kudu me phone hook up. I'll phone you. Phone me hook up. Alice was wondering about the tickets, but Mathi assured her they had been sent to her. Chur an thalwa hookum post jalwain. The hall sent me an email. And remember, you'll also see and hear post D used for email. Alice then asked, and could the hookum and post jalwain? Will you send me the email? And could the hookum and post jalwain? Let's listen again to some of that conversation. Being touch a trank. En kut me phone hooket. Daar kun je tekenen. Phone me hooket. Jamie in de ticketchen. Ga je takken? Goed en talen hoek en postjel en kleine ticketchen. En kun je hoek op een postjel en zin? Kun je. Kun je me postjel en hooket en draas te heen, maar steetje als mijn geen. Nisha Hami Edmogoy, I'm delighted to have been joined by another of Speak Gaelic's motivated learners, Ilsa Aline. In her house, you'll hear conversations in Gaelic, German, Punjabi or English. But before we start chatting about languages and learning, let's find out a bit more about her. Hello, I'm Ilsa Alim. I'm Ilsa Alim. I live with my husband and our two children. We also have two little furry friends. Sugo and Popcorn. I was Frankfurt in Frankfurt and when I was looking for a school that offered an additional language, I came across Gaelic medium education. I started learning Gaelic so that I could support the children, but it has now become a personal project that I really enjoy for myself. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to In my spare time, I do volunteer work to support refugees. I'm making up care packages for refugees in the city. We have essential items here, ready to go. Je chicken, uitdag, rutte machine. I moved to Scotland in 2008, and at the time I was working as a simultaneous interpreter. Anish, bimia checkist, germaltish, do jinebich. 
ha germeltisch akim, ha frangisch akim, ha björla akim, bacon spantisch, agsanisch, ha garlic akim. I'm planning on taking a dip to raise money for charity. I hate the cold with a passion, and so for me, this is quite a challenge. So today I'm doing a bit of training. Ooh, hi, food! Ach, be mir fast klachterisch. Ilse Falchorst, the speak Gaelic. Give it a how. Hami Gleva, Hami Uvasarin Tolish Javian Shop. Oh, Tafalib. Now you are multilingual. What languages do you speak at home? The children and me are on the German channel, mm -hmm. and everybody else is pretty much on the English channel. Yeah. But we don't use Gaelic as much as maybe we should or we could in the house. But then at the same time, obviously, there's another language yeah. in the mix. So you have to give and take yeah. a bit. And how do you help your children with Gaelic at home? Well, I guess um, it kind of depends on when we are talking. So um, like what time uh, we're referring to here. So uh, when they first started school, I would do, you know, anything to do with Gaelic, I, I would do it like we would get all the books and all the DVDs and CDs and play the songs and go to Gaelic Bounce and Rhyme and Book Buck and what have you and we would book the fish and take part in the mods and basically yeah. anything Gaelic we would we would do it and then I guess over time maybe your enthusiasm drops a little bit or shifts in my case it shifted it shifted more to like the things that I would do for myself mm -hmm. and my own Gaelic rather than for the kids um, but now the kids know that I'm there, they know that I'm passionate about it, that I'm happy to help, um, but they don't always come to me. I don't, to be honest, I sometimes feel bad when at, you know, parents' night, the teachers will say, oh yeah, and it's really good how you're supporting the kids, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, really, but I don't actually feel like I'm doing that much. Um, but perhaps just sort of them seeing that example of mm. like, I love it and I will learn and I want to learn and we can discuss things, I think that, that does help. Oh, I think that's hugely <laughs> important. <laughs> well, and how did you yourself learn Gaelic? What, did, what methods did you use? So I would just sort of fit in whatever I could. Mm -hmm. um, so I started off with, um, I think, an open format yeah. at the Centre for Open Studies. We would go to Buyan Jasaharnia because that was something that we could do on a, on a Saturday with the whole family. And then I was so uh, thrilled to come across the new, this new format, mm -hmm. this new course that I've been doing, Bliana Voki at Glasgow Uni, because I think that is the best thing I've done so far for my, for my Gaelic. Indeed, <laughs> you worked really hard. And you must have a few favourite Gaelic words or phrases. I love uh, big beetach. Just, I don't know, it makes me think of klitzeklein in German, which uh, is just as cute, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but then uh, there are so many wonderful words and, um, or sayings. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's also, obviously, immer lechen raf asashke. That is one thing I like because, uh, so, row with the or at hand, isn't it? Or with the closest or. Um, and I'm sure there's many situations in life where that would be befitting, but I came across it uh, during the Bliana Voki course, mm -hmm. and we were talking about it in the context of, like, when you learn a language, you uh, sometimes have to just use the phrases that you know that are tried and tested and don't try to express whatever else. Tough life, good morning, sir. Thank you so, so much. Um, you've been working so hard. I guess, cum or later Gaelic. Anisha, hand pal making cheekig as in studio, I guess a golf, kuchiri kalum. It's time to leave the studio and join Speak Gaelic's roving reporter, Kalum Machilien. I guess, Miss Mamochainia, if my memory serves me correctly, Miss Mamochainia, today's jaunt has a literary theme. <laughs> I'm trying to write a new Lyor, book, Lyor. You know, I read somewhere that there's only seven plots in all of storytelling. Urn, overcoming the monster. Ya, yeah, rags to riches. Tree, the quest. Keher, voyage and return. Koik, rebirth. Shia, comedy. Shekh. Tragedy. Why not just use them all and add an ar of a hoch? Number eight, ar of a hoch. Callum Ock, 
young Callum, Callum Ork, set forth in search of Balenhuike, Wigtown. Aha, that's the quest taken care of. Balenhuike is Scotland's national book town. Set on the Machers Peninsula from the Gaelic Macher, sandy land near the coast, Macher, it's home to an annual book festival and with more Bugen Laurichen, bookshops, Bugen Laurichen, per head of population than anywhere else in Scotland, it's the ideal place for literary inspiration. This place was planned as a Bale Laurichen, book town, Bale Laurichen, to regenerate it after the creamery and distillery closed. It sounds like a tragedy, but that's a rebirth, and possibly rags to riches as well. Sean Bythill runs Scotland's largest second-hand bookshop. Sean, I've just come into your shop. Looks fantastic. How does an independent bookshop stand out in this day and age of it being so easy, you know, go online and buy a book there? There's an edge that we have, which is serendipity. If you go, if you're buying online, you have to really know what you're looking for. Bookshops, I think, do give people a sense of of comfort and belonging and sort of intellectual stimulation. It often does get said that everybody has got a book in them. As someone that's written a few books, do you agree? Uh, yes, I think it is true. I think um, not everybody has a good book in them. I'm not sure I've got a good book in me. But anyway, Callum, I, I would um, strongly advise you to uh, make a start. OK, so I've got my notepad. Just get started. Thank you very much. Good luck. I might need it. Old books. There's something special about them. Which reminds me, it's my dad's birthday coming up and he's a nightmare to get a present for. It's a beast of a job trying to buy something for him. Unless I got him a Shaun Lior. In fact, you could even say that would be overcoming the monster. Oh, that's a bit tenuous. Here, you can even spell tenuous. Do you know why this Lior is so chew? Thick, chew. Well, it's a long story. It's comedy. After his tourist journey, Tourus, our protagonist, was inspired. He wrote his magnum opus, a seven-part tome, bought himself a bullyorican and returned home a gashkoch. Hero, gashkoch. That's voyage and return and they all lived happily ever after. Cheer of joy. I think we can look forward to Callum adding award-winning author to his growing list of talents. Our thank you to Callum for adding some more words to our vocabulary. Chu is thick. Lior is a book. And finally, Machev is a sandy coastal plain, Machev. And if you'd like to follow Callum on his travels, why not do so through all of our social media channels? Nisha, a vilshev jeshal er son barach Gaelic avrien. Are you ready to speak some more Gaelic? Yenish in yorn. We looked at the phrase for please earlier. Mishé, the hale. Now, as you'd expect, there are a number of ways in which to thank someone in Gaelic. We've learned tach and tach in previous episodes. But let's look at a few other ways in which you can thank someone. Hami nat homing, or the more formal, Hami nur coming. Literally, I'm in your debt. I'm really grateful. Hami nat coming and Hami nur coming. Or if you're extremely grateful, you can say Hami fata nat coming. I'm far in your debt. Hami fata nat coming. And the more formal version. Hami fata nur coming. Hami fata nur coming. Another way to express your gratitude, and one we hear a lot in Gaelic, is kiat tang. 
a hundred thanks. Kiet thang. Or, to be more emphatic, Kiet mila thang. A hundred thousand thanks. Kiet mila thang. Another one which you may already know is Moran thang. Many thanks. Moran thang. Gaelic speakers are clearly very polite. Let's listen to a number of different ways of saying thank you in this next conversation. And listen out in particular for ambitious. Would you be? In the sense of did you used to? And Shawnee's reply, vien. I would be. Vien e koshach milchen. I would be walking miles. Vien e koshach milchen. Hello, Hori. I should play here. I'm bicycle famous, Nachel. I'm bicycle man. I have a lot of cars on the valley show. A bicycle like a mirror of Ami Oak. I have a car like a major. And big shiver Jean of Thor Koshok. Vies a Koshok and a full arch. Vies a Koshok, Milchen, good dancer. Smirnith. I use a Koshok Yaki, good joke. Can I pass on? I guess get Jarava had a taxi on. Shin Emma could text with him as a get a match. Hiya gra can hello to Shawnee. Well, not could have hello with Ash go Emma. Not much of a breen, Rikhaila. Beeshing your breen. I had text of Skippleter. Hiya Skippleter. Good check off. I guess can you look at I am a bring guitar. So, raise your Johnny. Oh. Hey, how? A boo fast get a flat. Be at the rake sound yorichen. Sphere tell him a boo. Be me and Koshokman Kursh a quiet and a sound yorichen. Be a canoch yorichen kujok. Urinen. I'm fishing me in cockero. Keep me the tank or son a lessonen. Hi, it's female. I guess hi, it's a course to groom. Ah, palazzo. I shouldn't call you either. Ah, palazzo. How many fat are coming? Give me a second. Santa Gina, a knock. Toss the pawner in. Stella and toss the pawner in. And the lenshiv and coru. Did you follow that conversation? I hope you did. Michael gave Shawnee a gift to thank him for the cookery lessons. Michael really appreciated them and he said, I'm really grateful. Notice he said as he was being respectful to Shawnee. Shawnee then thanked Michael for his gift, saying, Tachpaletze. Thank you. Tachpaletze. Michael is always very courteous and uses the polite form when talking to Shawnee. So he said, Tachpaletze. Thank you. Tachpaletze. Tachpaletze and Tachpaletze are often used for emphasis, instead of simply saying Tach belecht and Tach belief. Shawnee seemed quite touched by Michael's gift, didn't he? We heard him say Hashin kod gadidiv. That's really kind. Hashin kod gadidiv. Gadidiv, or sometimes dadidiv, depending on where the person who's talking is from, is a phrase you'll hear Gaelic speakers using a lot. It means something like really, truly, gaririv. You might also hear something being described as magaririv, which means really good, magaririv. Now, let's listen to some of that conversation again. And remember, you can watch all of our conversations supported by bilingual transcriptions on our website. Be a canoch yorich and kujok. Urinen. 
ham fishing me in cockerel. Keep me the thing or son of listening. Had the female, I guess had the course to groom. Ah, Palazzo. I shouldn't call you the either. Ah, Palazzo. Have me fat in that coming. By now, you'll be used to the fact that Gaelic verbs have a secondary form that we hear in yes or no questions and in negatives, like an row. Where are you? Charo. No. Ro instead of va. Or an jachu. Did you go? Chai. I went, but chajach. I did not go. Another word that takes a secondary form is mus, before. Vashin jishal is we were ready, but before we were ready, mus roshin jishal. Or chaishin yamach, we went out, but before we went out is mus jachshin yamach. Harshin Rainshiv Magadhi the Vinchu. Ach, Miss Alp of Me, before I go, Miss Alp of Me, let's take a quick look at some of what we've covered. How to ask someone to phone you. And could they phone hookum? And could they phone hookum? To tell someone you will phone them. Could they me phone hookup? Could they me phone hookup? We learned the word for a text. Texa. Texa. An email. Post D. Or in its longer form, post jaline. Post D. And a mobile phone. Phone live. Phone live. We also looked at a number of ways to say thanks, including a hundred thousand thanks. Kiat me le tang. Kiat me le tang. And of course, a phrase which we should all use regularly is excellent. Magadidav. Magadidav. Nisha maha speak Gaelic a course to grieve. Fiachkin kusha fisukin. If you're enjoying Speak Gaelic, get in touch with us through any of our social media channels. That you can find lots of supporting resources online, along with information about Gaelic language classes you can join. You can watch all of our programmes again on BBC iPlayer and listen to our podcasts on BBC Sounds. Chumamahurishmaha, Chiri and Drasta.